Let's continue our discussion on basic data types in Python. In this presentation, we will discuss the following topics. The first topic is Boolean data type and the second topic is string data type. In the last presentation, we have discussed integer data type and floating point data type. Now, we are ready to discuss what is Boolean data type and what is string data type. So, let's first try to understand what is Boolean data type. So, what is the meaning of Boolean data type? Boolean data type is used to represent any one of the two values, either true or false. So, Boolean data type represents two values, either true or false. Now, we need to understand the meaning of this. In many situations, we'll either get a true value or false value. Let's say we are checking a condition is 5 less than 10. In that case, we'll get a true value because 5 is less than 10. What about if we check this condition? Is 10 less than 5? No, surely not. Because 10 is greater than 5, not less than 5. In this case, we'll get a false value. So, you can observe that whenever we check a condition, we will get either true or false. This means that condition checking always return a Boolean data. Hence, we can say that whenever we check a condition, we will always get either true or false value. Either the response will be true or false. It totally depends upon the condition what we are checking. In order to concrete this concept, let's consider one simple example. Let's say we have this program where name is equal to Sam. This is variable name and we are assigning Sam, the string, to this variable name. This is an assignment operator. It is used to assign some value in the right hand side to the left hand side. So, here we have name as a label and this label is given to this string Sam. So, in place of this string Sam, we can use this label name in our code. And we are using it here while checking this condition. This is an if else construct. If else. If you are not familiar with any other programming language, then you might not know what is the meaning of if else. If else is used to evaluate a piece of code based on some condition. If this condition is satisfied, then this piece of code will get evaluated. Otherwise or else, this piece of code will get evaluated. This is what if else means. So, if name is equal to Sam, then we must print hello Sam. Otherwise, we must print hello dude. Here we have this condition name equal to Sam. Understand this that this is not an assignment operator. This is an equality operator. Equality operator always returns true if left hand side value is equal to the right hand side value. Here in this case, we have name equal to Sam. This means we are checking this condition. Is name equal to Sam? We know that name is the label given to this string Sam. So, eventually this name variable or this label will get replaced by the string Sam. So, in reality, we are checking this condition. Is Sam equal to Sam? Yes, this is true because here each and every character of this string is matching with each and every character of this string. Hence, this string is equal to this string. This means that we will get true value as a result. So, eventually this will get replaced by true. As we know, if the condition is satisfied, then we need to evaluate this piece of code, which means that eventually print hello Sam will get evaluated. And this means that the output of this program will be hello Sam and not hello dude. Note that either this code will get evaluated or this code will get evaluated. Any one of these will get evaluated based on the condition. If let's say the condition becomes false, then in that case, this piece of code will get evaluated. In that case, we'll get this output hello dude on the screen and not hello Sam. So, as I've already told you, if else is used to evaluate a piece of code based on the condition passed to it. In this case, the condition passed to it is true. This means that this piece of code will get evaluated 
and hence we will get this output hello sam on the screen note that we will not get single quotes along with the string we'll only get the string as an output and not the single quotes now we know what is a boolean data type let's try to understand what is a string data type a string is simply a sequence of characters so a string is a combination or a sequence of characters now in order to see string in action what happens when we try to print a string we need to get to our command prompt so let's open our command prompt and there we must type python and hit enter in order to activate the python interactive shell so let's activate the python interactive shell by typing this command python and by hitting enter after this we will see these three arrows which means that python interactive shell is now active so now let's type this string hello world we must understand this that the string must be written within double quotes or single quotes both are correct so we can write a string within double quotes or single quotes it doesn't really matter here we have a string hello world and we have a space in between note that a string is a sequence of characters so we can say this that this is a string now when we hit enter we will get hello world on the screen so this is what happens when we write a string and when we hit enter note that python will always result in a string which is enclosed within single quotes even though you have written the string within double quotes okay so that is why we are getting this output this string within single quotes and not within double quotes i hope these concepts are clear to you now we have learned what is boolean data type and we have also learned what is string data type okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation